Hey, so thanks for jumping back in. So effectively what this unboxing is going to be is uh, a very small box <laughs> uh, of some LEGO Mindstorm stuff that I got in. So the backstory is basically I got an insane amount of mileage out of this kit when I was a kid and when I was a teenager, uh, just making a bunch of robots and things like that. But I'm definitely out of practice now that I've <laughs> hit university and now that I'm out, uh, I've got a bit more time to kind of mess around with this. But unfortunately, uh, since then I've replaced the batteries and it's dead and I've tried opening it up and it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with the soldering or anything. It actually looks great. So I don't know whether it's been through weathering or if it's just, it's had its time. Uh, but in any case though, I found out I can just order more online. So that's what I went for. So I'm just going to open this up for you guys now. There you go. All right, so let's see what's inside here. Yeah, it's mainly the brick. Oh, but it's actually in really kind of cute packaging now that you can see it. So uh, in terms of the instructions, uh, I imagine it's exactly what you have in like the full kit, because uh, I really just ordered this thing. Yeah, so just instructions on how to insert the huge cluster of batteries this thing demands, because it's an onboard computer and it serves a lot of different um, sort of input from sensors of different kinds and different configurations. So this, this thing has kind of earned its right to take in so much power. And uh, just taking it out of the box here, here it is. Now batteries aren't included, but uh, I'll boot it up in just a second for you guys just to see what it looks like when it's alive. Pretty. Oh, well there you have it, it's already, already active. Now hopefully you can see, you can go through files, NXT programs, go through a data log, that's new. Go to a view, Bluetooth, that's what I'll be trying out later. Settings, try me. So that just kind of runs everything essentially and uh, kind of goes through. So I'm gonna turn this off and leave it for everything I plan to do with it. But um, I think that's pretty great right off the bat. The order of operations is to start with the on and off for directions and everything. This turns everything on and off. I believe this is neutral and we can have, let's have the lights turned on first because at least then it seems to be the safest starter to begin with. And I'll have it kind of going through, let's say these, maybe I should have it going into the direction. So that's green, <laughs> that's a good sign. Now we're still in neutral again, turn this on. Oh, that's pretty bright. So off is in the middle and either way, activates them. So just to give you context too, this is in the daylight. So these are actually quite bright when you uh, remove them. So they're very powerful little LEDs. That's actually a really good quality of lights for these, even just with one. So yeah, even just from inspiration of these, I definitely want to have some sort of uh, digging device or excavator or search and rescue kind of vehicle. These will definitely do the job for for lighting up the work site. So that's great. I'm quite happy with that. Also, it's good to have some light indicator in terms of knowing if things are working or not. Uh, I'm just gonna unplug these neutral. Should probably have something on here to actually demonstrate movement. Actually only sinks in a certain amount because all the rest of this is, of course, occupied by the battery. Um, so now we're going from neutral, one direction. So you can see the direction reversal. If I were to grab that gear, so uh, I think that kind of summarizes the way that this whole kit has come together. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. It'll be fun to see what I can do with these.